<laughs> I did it! 100 stupid dog movies in one year! One year! Oh man, don't you ever say that a mile on Otis doesn't count. I'm counting that stuff. Counting that stuff. Because technically, I did watch another movie called Poochie Woochies that I only got halfway through. So if you combine those two together, that's a whole dog movie. And that's 100 dog movies in a year. Oh man. So, today... For the last movie, I was going to watch a movie called Can of Worms, which is a hilarious, awesome Disney movie about a dog from outer space that helps a kid that's like, I'm a nerd, and then they go to like an intergalactic space zoo, and it's awesome, but I couldn't find it anywhere, and I'm running out of time, so I had to watch another movie that's called Wiener Dog Nationals. <laughs> Wiener Dog Nationals. It looked like it was going to be terrible, so actually it was the only thing I could find that was under an hour and a half. It was 82 minutes, so I thought that was good. It was a good start. Um, so, the movie starts out, and of course it does the thing where it's a family, but the mom's dead, you know, because they always have to do that so that there can be a love interest in these movies. Um, and the little there's a two sons, older son, a younger son, and a little daughter who's in the middle of the two. She might be the younger actor, but whatever, who cares? And they're playing hide and go seek, and the kid finds that the dad has a picture of his, you know, passed away wife with it was a when she was younger with a dog, a wiener dog, and she used to race dogs. So the kid, for his birthday, asks for a wiener dog, you know, because he misses his mom and stuff. So they go to the park that where they're having like a dog adoption, and they adopt this dog that has like a thunderbolt. Uh, thing on his leg like a mark a birthmark and um you know the kid goes behind his dad's back and enters the dog in the race um and it wins the race and then they um the person who signs up is the love interest um the one of the signer upper people and then joan rivers is um the old, <laughs> is the evil woman and uh she has a dog that's called Princess and it's like spoiled and stuff and there's this guy that um the dad at work Joan Rivers calls in and gets the dad fired for some reason at his job so he can't compete because she won't sell the dog to her or he won't sell the dog to her or something like that for some reason she was going to pay $10,000 for it because it's later on you find out it's a descendant of a other dog that used to race because it has the same birthmark on its leg. So they take it to the Nationals, uh, you know, and it's like a big deal. And um, I won't tell you the whole thing because I actually like this movie. Um, and it's going to get an Oz, yeah. We're going to end the year on a movie that surprised me that I actually liked. <laughs> so, um, but it's just, it was pretty funny. It's kind of low budget, but, you know, it's not super low budget. And the acting's decent, it's not awesome. The little girl's kind of annoying, though, but she's not in it a ton. Um, more at the beginning. So if you can get through her annoying bits at the beginning, um, it gets a little bit more tolerable because she's in it less. But um, I like the love interest who was, you know, one of the judges that falls in love with the dad or whatever. She was cool. And um, the best character, though, is the guy who takes uh, the dad's job at his... Uh, Jim he works at because he's this big like muscular dude and he wears a hilarious shirt uh, that points to his biceps and his gimmick is that he has a a spray bottle of uh, it's like muscle juice <laughs> he's like spraying himself all the time he's like yeah <laughs> challenging but he's in the dog race too he has a wiener dog <laughs> and he's like yeah my dog's super strong <laughs> he's like and they throw all the dogs down. Um, it was decent. Um, I'd say watch it. Um, it's on Netflix uh, streaming. So uh, if you have kids, they'd probably enjoy it because it was pretty funny. Um, it was weird. I thought it was going to be like the worst thing ever. It's like, oh, I'm going to have to suffer through this, but it's the last movie, you know? So I'm going to do it. Um, <laughs> yeah. Man, I can't believe a whole year of this stuff. <laughs> I'm not doing it anymore. Uh, if I happen to watch any 
uh, accidentally, I'll throw a review up here, I guess. Um, you know, maybe I'll do one or two next year. If they put out any more Super Buddy movies, <laughs> Air Buddy movies type things, maybe uh, I'll watch those. If, um, if you guys see any videos that you'd like to me to review, um, go ahead and put them in the comments or send me a message. I don't know how the stupid Google crap works anymore, so if you can't get hit me up, just try to email me or something like that. And I'll try to watch them, maybe. Maybe not, though. There's a bunch I didn't watch that are pretty big. I didn't watch Marley and Me or Red, Where the Red Fern Grows. Um, those were two on my list I never got around to because I didn't really want to watch them. <laughs> so uh, It's been something else, I guess. I can't believe I did it really honestly I didn't think I'd get through because there was a point where I was like 10 movies behind uh, and I was like oh man I should just give up but you gotta persevere <laughs> through the the darkness of the dog movies I'm gonna give this whole year a oh yeah so anyways um, I'm gonna go back to I guess this year, try to finish up that Goosebump book I've been reading for two years online. So take a look out for that, unless YouTube gets so bad with the Google thing that I just kind of stop using it. Maybe I'll go somewhere else. But if I do, I'll post a video. You know, my nine viewers really need to know what I'm doing. You know, I'll keep you in. I'll keep you in the loop for uh, stuff. And come here, Snake. Gotta say goodbye. Say goodbye. Guys. Well, that's it. That's 100 dog movies brought to you by the idiot who I am called Crocs. Yes! <laughs>